Well, this is unexpected. I've been saying on and off again that I was going to do Castlevania Chronicles after Lament of Innocence. Then I thought about it. I attempted to record an episode of Castlevania Chronicles on my phone. This unfortunately was when I had to do a reset. I had to do the reset because my uh, phone was out of storage space. And when I completely reset my phone, it also reset a bunch of options. One of these options was the resolution of uh, my video recordings. Um, it switched it back to 1080p, and I recorded that episode in 1080p, which is something I typically don't do because when I record something in 1080p, it like reduces the upload time by like double. And I don't want that because I don't want my upload times to be taking forever. And besides, 1080p, for the way I'm recording these videos, is just kind of unnecessary. So, I had to switch it back to 720. So, with that being said, um, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Um, I figured I could do something here. I'm going to let's play this game. And and I'm, I'll alternate. I'm going to alternate between this game and then Chronicles. I'm going to upload three episodes of Chronicles because that's about how many episodes it's going to take. And I'll keep doing this game. So, here we have it. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. <clears throat> now, uh... Oh, hold on. I gotta do something real quick. I gotta make sure this is turned down. Oh, yeah. We can't have that. Okay. Anyway. So. After constantly ranting about this game over and over again, you're probably like, Oh, I never thought you'd actually play this game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Neither did I. But again... I never said that this was a bad game, okay? I never said that. I just said that Symphony of the Night is just very overrated for what the game is. That's it. The game is very overrated, and I'll stick to that, because there are problems with this game. There are undoubtedly problems, being that this is the first Metroidvania game and all that other whatnot. There are problems. And some of those problems have been fixed upon in the future games. However... That does not mean that this is the best game in the franchise, nor is it the best Metroidvania. Just because it was innovative at the time, and just because it brought a new genre to the table, doesn't necessarily make it a great game. Some people preferred the linear style, some people didn't. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. This is a meme. I'm not even joking. It's not by my hand that I'm once again given flesh. I was called here by humans. To pay me tribute. Tribute? You steal men's souls and make them your slaves. Perhaps the same could be said of all religions. Your words are as empty as your soul. Mankind ill needs a savior such as you. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk. How about you? <sighs> One of the biggest memes in the Castlevania community was right there. I hate it. I really do. I hate that meme. I hate that quote. I hate the voice acting in this game, and that's one of my biggest problems with this game in general. Is the voice acting. I hate it. It's not good. It doesn't make the game any better by comparison. It's bad. You have to acknowledge terrible voice acting when there's terrible voice acting. I'm sorry. Um, I'm glad the PSP version fixed this up. When it, when it was released with uh, Dracula X Chronicles, they fixed, they did a redub of the voices, and it's way better than this crap. But as you can tell, I am playing the original PS1 version that I have on the PS3. So, yeah. Besides, I think I'd rather do this one because, for one thing, yes, it is the original. And second, I'm not a fan of uh, Yuri Lowenthal, I think that's his name. I'm not a fan of him because he is the same voice actor that does uh, Sasuke Uchiha in Naruto. And uh, a lot of people might disagree with me on this, but uh, Sasuke Uchiha is probably my least favorite character in all of Naruto, period. Um, I don't like him. He's been nothing but an asshole the entire series, up until just recently with Boruto. But that's, that's after all the shit he's been putting everyone through. He put... He... 
was one of the, like, I would say one of the side antagonists for the, uh, second half of Naruto Shippuden. And he was just such an ass. Because he, he had, uh, Taka and, or whatever, and he was just leading, uh, Soigetsu and, uh, Karin and Jugo around, and whenever they weren't useful to him, he just kind of led them around like dogs, and whenever he was, whenever they weren't useful, he just kind of tried to kill them or put them aside, and it was just like, man, you're such an ass, and it's like, he just, it's all about him, it's all about him and his darkness and his misunderstandings, and all he cares about is revenge, and people think that, oh, that's cool, it's edgy, he's just misunderstood, no, I don't like that. I don't like people that just sit there and put their goals in front of their friends like that. I hate that. So yeah, I don't like Sasuke. I never did. Some people might disagree with me on that, but it's just my personal opinion. Never liked him, never will. I'm gonna skip this part right here. All this really explains is uh, the place where this takes place. This takes place after uh, Rondo of Blood, after Richter Belmont's adventure. And Alucard has just awakened to uh, deal with his father. So, yeah. Also, Maria's grown up, too, so. Pops right in the castle. Alright. Let's do this. Ward. Okay. Now I gotta speak about something, too. Um, I don't really bring this up because it's not that big of a problem. But another problem I have with this game is because it uses one of those stupid cliches that I despise so much in video games. Um, we're about to see it here in a minute. Okay, you see how we're doing one hit damage to these guys and they pretty much just explode? We got all this gear on and it's just so awesome to be doing this much damage. And look, we're leveling up. Ain't that awesome? Isn't that just amazing? We're already doing this much damage right off the bat. Keep that in mind for a minute. Just, just keep this in mind. So we got bats here. Handle. We can break this open and get a pot roast. A merman! Looks like you guys are back. Die. Oh, we can't go in there yet. You can break this open and you can go right through if you want to. Whew! But yeah. This is awesome. Uh, I like this music right here, though. Castle Dracula is a good theme. I liked it better in uh, Harmony of Despair, though. But yeah, we're just sitting here making short work of these enemies. You break this open, you get a turkey. Okay, right here. We're meeting with death, and you're going to see what I'm talking about. Right there. That's what I like to call uh, the taste of power cliche. Um, God of War does this, Metroid does this, a lot of games do this. Where they start the game, they give you this awesome amount of power that makes you super OP, only to take away like five minutes later. And now I got shitty stats and I've got my fists. So yeah, we, we do barely anything. I have a short sword, no gear, nothing. And I don't have that cool red and black cape anymore. It's just cream color at this point. So yeah, I hate that cliche. But it's not something that... It's not a game breaker because, you know, that's how progression works. It's how this game is... That's what makes this game good is because of progression and leveling up and all that. So that's not something I bring up. But I just... I hate games that do that. And I understand why they did it. It's because they're like, oh, we want to make you have a taste of this game. We want to make you like, understand what kind of power you can tap into and how strong you can become. But it's like, if you're gonna do that, why would you just take it away like that? That just seems like such a tease. <laughs> uh, I, I just hate cliches like that. Anyway, we hop up here. You get the Cube of Zoe. Which, for some reason, this thing allows you... Um, if you don't grab the Cube of Zoe, you don't get anything from candles. And it's like, 
Wait, I'm pretty sure that's what it does. Relics keep them so it causes items to materialize. Oh, items. Yeah. So basically, what this does is it allows, like, I think, I think what it does is that it allows enemies to drop things. No, that wouldn't make sense. It, yeah, it'd probably have to be from candles because, uh, because I already got the short sword before grabbing the cube of Zoe, so that wouldn't make any sense. I think it has to do with candles. I don't know. It might have to do with the candles. Okay, oh, we got the button there. Leather shield. Hmm. Okay, so get this down. And we got blood skeletons here, by the way. Sometimes they're called red skeletons, sometimes they're called blood skeletons. Um, I never saw the point of these enemies because you... In, like, almost every Castlevania game, you can't kill them at all. You can't kill red skeletons. And what bugs me about that is, like, the only Castlevania game, as far as I'm concerned, um, where you can kill them is Curse of Darkness. And you had to get a certain item to allow you to do that. And it's like, why, though? I mean, maybe they're just there for an obstacle, but, like, aren't the... Isn't the point of having an enemy so you can kill them? If you want an obstacle, put up obstacles. But I, I always just looked at it as, like, weird. It just weirded me out for the longest time. I think, yeah, if I push this box over here, I should be able to find a cloth cape up there. No, not that one, Alucard. It's the wrong one. Okay. Speaking of uh, Alucard and... Uh, Yuri Lowenthal for their new voice they got. Um, I would have really preferred if they got the voice for Alucard in Lords of Shadow 2, because that one was more uh, consistent with Romanian voice accents, and I liked that one. That actually felt more true to uh, Romanian accents and how Alucard should really sound. Not like some edgy Sasuke anime voice actor. I don't like that. Um, no, okay, you know what? Here, my point. Here's my point. If you design a character that has a goal, a goal that in which he is so just so uh, he's willing to pursue it no matter what. He's willing to pursue that goal no matter what. That he's actually willing to put aside his friends in sake of that goal. Just get Yuri Lowenthal for that character because that's Sasuke. Everything about Sasuke matches those uh, requirements. So if you want to get someone that's edgy, misunderstood, they only have one goal and people just get in the way of it, get get Sasuke for it. I mean, honestly though, honestly. So we got a boss coming up here, um, and then after we beat the boss, after we beat the boss, I'm gonna go ahead and save and then end the episode. But uh, yeah, I don't like the voice actor for. Uh, well, I don't like the new voice actor for Sasuke. He's in Harmony of Dissonance. And he's in the remake, or I mean the uh, port for Dracula X Chronicles or something tonight. I don't like... Yuri Lowenthal is not a bad voice actor. Don't, th don't get the wrong idea. I just don't like his position as Alucard in a game like Castlevania. I really don't. Considering that he is one of my least favorite characters... You know what? No. He is my most hated character in Naruto. I don't like the idea of him being a Castlevania protagonist. I mean, I wouldn't mind so much if he was the villain, that would have been different, but I can't empathize with someone who I hate in a different series, like Naruto. And I've already explained why I hate Sasuke, so you, you, you can pretty much draw a conclusion from there. And I still don't understand why people like him so much. People say, oh, he's just meant to, he's misunderstood, he's been lied to, don't you know his childhood? Yes, I do know his childhood, but that, that's no excuse for you to just be an asshole the entire time, man. That's no excuse. I've had a hard life too, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have had a hard life, but I'm, I'm not making an asshole out of myself, am I? No. It's called common courtesy. Learn it sometime. <sighs> okay, so that was the Gaibon and the Slagra. They become uh, recurring enemies later in the game. In fact, they pretty much are recurring enemies in other Castlevania games but they decide to make a boss appearance in this game. Hmm. So we're gonna go ahead and save once again. Man, we gotta go all the way back down here. But yeah, don't get the wrong idea. Yuri Lowenthal is not a bad voice actor. 
I just don't like the idea of him being Alucard. I felt like that choice was just too easy. I felt like that was an easy choice for the developers to make. Like, oh, I know who we can get. We gotta get someone who's known in the anime community. Get Sasuke. That, that's what it felt like to me. So, anyway. That was my little rant about that. Um, this is a pretty eventful episode of Symphony of the Night. Um, yeah, welcome to Symphony of the Night Let's Play. And uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Or Castlevania Chronicles. I'll, I'll figure this out. Alright, later.